Okay, so, okay, getting to another point now, shifting to another point of plus. I said people are the plus. True, but you, why? No one's that great. Maybe they are. They're not talking about it. Look, here's a complexity of, all right. Initially, you can't land on these luminous spheres, right? And then it, they shift dimension to something you can be on, like planets. Okay, that's complicated. But look, look at this. The, the, the point of the existor is the greatest extent to where you are now, let's say. The problem is, and the solution too, is everyone, women know this about children, about their kids. They're all important. Every kid's important. Animals too, insects, trees, everything. The, the mothers and fathers know they're important. Now I'll explain why, look. There's like, let's say, I mentioned the 8,000 forces of the box one Genesis. Okay, that's another topic. What I'm talking about, though, is why you're a magnitude of something, or 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 anything. I can't I can't list everything that everyone could be, but let, let's say like um, there's evolution, the force of evolution, or evolution itself. You could be something about evolution in the hierarchy. Yeah, your magnitudes and different variants of forms, powers, whatever. The 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 frustrating thing. This is like me or this is like Christ really too because Christ talks differently about stuff but uh, he, 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 people can translate it a lot you know Christ says you're, you're important for some reason he leaves it at that though and your whole life you figure out well wait a minute I said I was diversified from the greatest extent that I was from and not possibly diversified too and I wouldn't make it to here from the greatest extent it's impossible the comedy is why. But this is another situation. Look, people all know this book by now. And this guy, Brian Green, yeah. Well, th this is a complicated topic. The fabric of the cosmos. The fabric of the cosmos is... is, is I'm not going to interpret what he said. But how I interpret it, this goes to Christ and, and the extents, too. When you're the boss deity like Christ now is, you can go to a web that's around these places that, that the highest extent governs. Well, it's a fabric of the cosmos. But maybe not what Brian was talking about at all. The comedy is this, the, yeah, the comedy is that the deities do. You don't want to face the highest extent either, that you're from. You don't want to face the extent that you're from, because they'll obliterate you, or talk to you too harshly and you'll be wiped out. The thing is that the greatest extents do care about everything is what I failed to realize. The thing of this is there's like in connectivities all around these areas of space, okay, all around this, and you can't notice them, but they're beyond capacity of the human so far, or the alien. The problem is if you get to them, you don't want them, because you're, you're diced. The thing is, everything's been an, an understanding of something. Now, like I said before, the good news is that everyone's a magnitude or a degree or a format or some kind of echelon of something. Everyone has a hierarchy. Look, in family, there's hierarchies anyway, natural hierarchies. But I'm talking about who you might be, who and what you might be it has a hierarchy to it, which makes you important or less important in a family. The thing is this, it goes beyond family too. That's what I'm talking about now. Now, th this is complicated now. It, get, it gets complicated. Well, this is a good conversation. Now, Jesus talks about this a lot, too. I'm not uh, against him at all. I understand Jesus Christ. I, I, I like what he says a lot. I, like, I, you know, I know he's God. I know, I know I'm not going there. The thing is, I like Jesus. I'm not against him. The thing is, I agree. See, if he went to a fabric of the cosmos, he wouldn't like to go too far. And it's just like to see a little. The thing is, He'd, come, he'd be back before you know it. The thing is, you don't, you don't want to be thinking that there's all, only absolute nothing. Absolute nothing? My ass. Because this wouldn't exist ever. The thing is, on top of it, it's a glorious accident that, that, that this did exist. But if you look at the platform, 
is a section of space, vast section of space that has planets on it. The planets are in it and they travel like that. So it's kind of complicated if you don't have a magnitude. We're not, no one really is of a magnitude greater than a planet. And you're not greater than Lucy or God. The thing is, it, it's almost a comedic situation. I'll say that. Because people are placed in, in a less, a lesser, or you place yourself in a lesser position for some mysterious reason. The yeah, only thing... Everybody in a family is... Uh, yeah. I know, so I said that. Mm -hmm. I did say that. So everyone and everyone who's born is important. Every animal, every blade of grass I said is important. Family, you said yeah, more less, less important or more important. That's not true. No. What I'm saying is you can be less important or more important in a family. Yeah, it is true. No, it, is. it is. Okay. You can be more important then. Right, everyone's important, but you can be family, more or less important. In family, important. Okay, right. in the family, right? I, I don't, I, I think differently. Now, look, what I'm saying in this one is funny. It looks like degrees of nothing so far, too, is what I'd say. But that's funny. Like I said, almost bullshit, never completely rolling. It's true, a lot. Yet there is also an extent that goes beyond the bullshit realm. But the problem is, it's a lot of chaos. It's a lot of bullshit. The other thing I could say is that there's echelons to your power. That's interesting. Now there's echelons to everyone's power, if there is. How can there any be any kind of understanding of anything? Because there's a, there's a lot of various powers a lot of power in the universe and why does the universe usually end up with static space and then he starts up again well this is this this is a comedy a long one and what i'll say so far though is very interesting i like this one the most this is a good book and what he's talking about really i, li I like what brian green is talking about the, the only thing is this what i was trying to say is if I'm pitted against myself and I'm more formidable than myself, you know how I would be? Like this.